Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm going to show you an amazing tool to improve your reading comprehension skills. It's called Read Theory. It's a web page and it's really, really amazing. I've been using it for years for myself and my students and it helps you develop your skills in reading. This tool is intensive reading. So when you practice your reading, you can do intensive reading or extensive reading. Extensive reading is reading for pleasure. Intensive reading is reading for the purpose of learning. This is what we do with Read Theory. Once I had the honor to hear Paul Nation, his an eminence in vocabulary acquisition. And I remember clearly when he said that in order for you to learn with a text, to, to learn from a text, to acquire new vocabulary from the context, you really need to understand most of it, like 98, 97% of what you're reading in order to really understand the new vocabulary. So that is a thing that is hard to find. And I suppose that something similar happens with the grammar. If you want to learn a grammatical structure from a text, you need to understand most of it and just get the new one. This is why read theory is so useful because it lets you go with the level you are. They've been very kind to let me show you their page and I'm happy to do it. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. There are two ways in which you can use it. So let's go there. Here in Google, you can search for read theory or just type it. There it is, readtheory.org, and it will immediately show you a passage. This passage starts the pretest, but what we want to do is to sign up or to log in. You log in when you already have an account. Since we don't have an account, we are going to sign up. You can sign up as a student, as a teacher, or as a parent. I have an account as a teacher. Now I'm going to create an account as a student, as you should. And you can tell your teacher to create an account as a teacher so you can share your progress with your teacher. So there are two ways of signing up with Google, which is easier, or just creating a username and password. Let's try this one. Let's create one. Why not? So what I advise you to do is to always read everything the page presents you. For example, you can read support us to support them <laughs> with money. We have here a notification. If you forget your password, we'll need your email to reset it. Add your email here. Since we just created an account without an email, you need to add your email. We will do that later. First, we'll do the pretest. We have the pretest and we're going to read what they tell us. To begin, we'll need you to answer eight questions to the best of your ability. Then you'll be able to start earning points and achievements in the main area of our program. Just keep in mind that we strongly discourage you to receive outside help on your pretest, as this may skew your results and make our program less effective. Just do your best and remember that you're a star. Okay. Um, it may take up to 20 minutes to complete the pretest, and progress will not be saved until the pretest has been completed. Okay, so make sure you have those 20 minutes when you are doing the pretest. So I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to answer all of the eight questions. Each question is going to be about a different uh, passage, depending on my answers. If they are right or wrong, they will move me up or down a level. This is level I'm starting in grade three. And this is uh, the Lexile level. This is the number of words, uh, family, word families that we're using. The, let's say the vocabulary level. Okay, it took me about 10 minutes to do the pretest, and uh, it is complete now. Now let's read what they tell me. 
Congratulations, you're now ready to enter the main area of our program. You can start taking quizzes, earning points, and collecting cool accolades along the way. So we enter the program. So before answering any questions, I'm going to show you how this works. The, this is the, the button for, uh, for home. Home is always going to show you the next quiz available for you. Then you have the next quiz tab that is also going to show you the next quiz available for you. Then you have my progress tab. So in this tab, we see that we're going to have a student progress report, in this case for me, critical statistics and graphs for every quiz completed since inception. Leader hover for details. There's no data available now because it says check back here after you've completed your first quiz to view information about your points, performance, progress, and more. I haven't taken any quizzes, so there's no information here. The next step says my writing. Um, in addition to reading comprehension, there is a, there's a writing task, but this is only available if your teacher gives this option. So you need to have a teacher, uh, let's say connected to your account in order to do this, to see the, your written responses and to see them scored by your teacher. The next tab is my teachers. So let's read what they say. Your parents and teachers can help you get the most out of read theory. Really? How? And they explain everything to you. So they tell you how. Looks like we need a little more information to get you started. Please provide your name below so that your teachers can identify you. Remember, you can always update this information in your account settings. So I am Geraldine. So I'm going to update my real name. And after I update my real name, it tells me your real name is being updated. I can actually invite my teacher or parent to track my progress by entering their email. In this case, I'm going to put my teacher's email that is going to be myself. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the next quiz. And this time I'm going to read it all and answer. Well, let's just choose any answer and submit it. Okay. And this is where this is when you do your intensive reading. You chose an answer that was incorrect, and they'll explain why it was incorrect or which was the correct answer. Before that, we see the kind of question we are working with. For example, here we are working on integration of knowledge knowledge question. And we can even see what this means and read about examples and goals of this kind of question. This is for you to do. And then we have the explanation of why C is the correct choice. And in addition, it also tells us why the other choices are not correct. So this is very, very useful. We'll go to the next questions the same. Here, for example, they ask for something particular in paragraph four, and we can get paragraph four highlighted and answer. I'm just going to answer anything. And again, it tells us the kind of question and the explanation for it. I'm just going to answer incorrectly. Huh. I got the challenge question right. And since I'm on the last question, uh, it will give me my score. So after every quiz has been completed, they explain what's happened. Ready to move on? We prepare your next quiz and we think it's just right for you. So we didn't pass this quiz. Your score was 20%, one out of five. I earned three knowledge points. I have one knowledge point for the one answer, the one correct answer I got, and two knowledge points for answering correctly the challenge question, which is the one question among the rest that is the hardest. And they explain, sorry, you did not pass. You may see this quiz again in the future. And the conclusion, this quiz was pretty tough. Based on your performance, we think it's probably best to move down a level. We'll make your next quiz a little easier 
And remember, don't get discouraged, you're getting better at this with every quest you take. And here we have more information about how and why they put us down or up. And you can read this. So we'll go to the next quiz and you'll see that it has a different grade. Now, this is what Read Theory gives you. One. In addition to what Read Theory gives you, you can do two more things on your own. Focus on vocabulary and focus on grammar. How do you do that? This is our next quiz, but we're going to go back to our previous quiz. How can I see my previous quiz? By going to my progress. This time I do have information here, my progress level, the points for answering questions, the pretest results, and the program average, which is based on the quiz I already took. Once, we start, once you start with more passages, you will see uh, your progress. And here at the bottom, you're going to see all the readings that you have worked on. And you can see them again, for example. So I go back to this reading that probably I didn't understand well, because obviously I had too many mistakes. So probably I didn't get the questions because there was too much uh, new vocabulary, because there were too many words that were new to me, uh, because maybe the grammar points were too high for me. So I can focus on that. You can do it as you wish. One example I'll give you is to choose just one word per paragraph. Why am I doing this? Because if maybe there are 10 words that are new to you, you're going to be get overwhelmed and you're not going to learn. We need to choose the most important ones, the ones that that called your attention or maybe the one that impede you from understanding something. I might want to look at this word and the related words because they are very important in, in this reading passage. When looking at grammar, you can also see where you have trouble understanding. For example, maybe I read this first sentence and I can identify that they use the simple past and I have no problems with that. But maybe I go to the last sentence in this paragraph, which is a longer sentence, and see that it uses a different tense, for example, and it's a lot more complicated. So I might want to identify what tense this is. So of course, this is a high level passage and you can do all, lots of other things. I think I'm gonna make another video on other ways of using read theory because here we have a text and we can do anything with it. <laughs> but for now, this is good. Now, if you are at this level, it might be a little bit more complica complicated. So the higher the level, the more complicated it gets. That's why there's not only one way of using Retheory, and here's the second. Another way of using Retheory, and my favorite, is by doing the pretest too, but answering all the questions wrong, so that we start from grade one. So I'm going to do that. So let's read. Congratulations, you shift level one, your starting level will continue to fluctuate as we strive to select the perfect passage for you from our vast library. Sign up to start earning points and other cool accolades in the main area of program. Retake, pretest, or sign up. So I am going to sign up as a student. Um, this time I'm going to sign up with Google, which is easier. Okay, and since I am in grade one, you'll see that the level of the passage is way lower. Why is this useful? Because we can start understanding from the beginning. Okay, if you're starting with grade one, it's because you want to focus on the content that they give you that is easy. And you want to focus also 
and you want to focus on understanding the basics and the easy parts of the readings. So, for example, they will ask me a very easy question, and I'm going to think of the right answer, but I'm going to answer the incorrect one. And they'll tell me the kind of question I'm answering and the explanation for the right answer. So, this way, I can see if what I thought was correct. That should be because it's great one. In this case, it's so easy that it doesn't even give further explanations for why the others weren't right. So the idea with this is that you stay in grade one, one until you feel that you're done with it, especially in terms of vocabulary and grammar. Because in terms of vocabulary and grammar, it's very interesting that this is a grade one, like a very basic level. But for speakers of English as a second language, their vocabulary is not so low because not many students know words like wings, flippers, thick, or feathers. So you will find vocab new vocabulary here. And since it's a short passage, you can work on all of the new vocabulary. How to work with it? Look for it in a dictionary, check the pronunciation, and write it down. Or if you want to copy it on a, a new, well, have a notebook, physical or virtual, but put the information somewhere. And again, if you want to try grammar, the grammar here is going to be very easy. For example, we can analyze the sentence, penguins are unusual birds. What can we analyze? This is the simple present, the simple present of the verb to be. Do you have any questions about this? Or you can check how this works. Maybe you forgot. What else can we see? Word order, adjective noun, noun use, singular or plural, verbs. So, these are basic grammar points that maybe you haven't studied because you already know them, that you haven't studied for a long time. Um, looking for that information is going to clarify many things and make it easier for you to grow as an English speaker. Did I say this is my favorite? Yeah. So I like Re Theory. I hope you do too. I hope you give it a chance. It's great. It's an amazing tool. I hope you use it. Uh, tell your teacher that he or she can create an account too. Or you can contact me and I'll see if I can give you some feedback. Don't forget that the key is perseverance and lots of practice. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you soon.